on. Oh, there we are. <laughs> um, I was just having, uh, it was saying I was having some connection issues. So anyway, let me do that over. Okay. Hey, you guys, welcome back to another weekly video here at Child Care Success Tools. My name is Ashley Benz, and I am a child care business work-life balance strategist. Um, and so basically what I'm going to do is, first of all, let me get over here to make sure that you guys can hear and see me okay. But what we're going to be talking about today is the do's and don'ts of social media as a child care business owner. So as you're coming in, can you please tell me, um, hello, please let me know that you can hear and see me okay. I am going to hop over here and um, make sure that everything looks good on my side. And then we're gonna jump right into this video today, you guys, and get going. Um, so if you are new to Child Care Success Tools and you are just stumbling up on me, uh, once again, my name is Ashley Benz. I am a child care business work-life balance strategist. And what this means is that basically what I do and who I help is if you are a child care business owner and you are working 40 plus hours a week, um, I help child care business owners cut those hours in half using child care business automation. And then also if you are getting started, then I also help you get your doors open um, and help you from basically if you're from if you're at square one and you're trying to get started, I help you do that. We get your doors open and I help you do that without a business loan. I do want to go back and also say that for those that are already currently running uh, running child care businesses, um, uh, what I also do with the child care business automation or what that actually does for you is that it cuts your hours in half and it allows you to go from an uh, director role to an owner role. So um, that is basically what I do in a nutshell. I'm going to be talking a little bit about, uh, about that here in a few minutes. Let me jump over here and make sure that we're okay. Now, while I'm doing that, what you need to do if you, uh, are new or if you, you guys that are regulars here, you know the drill, go ahead and grab you something to drink. This is your time to invest in yourself. Okay. So go ahead and grab you something to drink. Um, I like to use this time for me. This is like my cozy time. This is my time where I can come and just chit chat about all things child care business related. Um, and uh, yeah, so I want you to also make this your time to invest in yourself as a child care business owner or if you are trying to get started and you are a child care business owner to be. So go ahead and grab you something to drink today. I am drinking some uh, warm uh, hot green or some hot green tea uh, because it is cold outside. The sun is shining. We finally got some sun in, but it is cold outside. And also, I'm in a little bit of a different location. So, um, and I'm, I'm on my thing here, so now I can kind of see I look a little bit, to me at least, it looks a little bit janky. So let me see if I can fix that just a tad bit. Um, and I don't even know if that did anything, but for me, I felt like that was kind of slanted. So, all right, once again, as you're coming in, Please uh, let me know that you can hear and see me okay. I am now here. I'm going to go ahead and look at the um, comments and all that good stuff to see what's going on. Yay, we're here. Okay. Also, tell me where you're coming in from. Uh, let me know, Are you what stage of business are you in? So are you starting, growing, or trying to scale a daycare business? And um, we will get started. So yes, you guys, I'm in a different location today. I'm actually in my kitchen. And uh, we just painted the kitchen. So uh, I wanted to kind of see what this color looked like because I am actually in the process of rebranding CST. And so one of the things about rebranding, obviously, is color schemes and stuff like that. So anyway, um, I just kind of want to see what this looked like. Plus, my office is a mess because this is the first project of um, several different projects going on here at the house. <laughs> so I guess uh, 2019 for me kind of has a little bit of a theme and it is just rebranding, redoing, cleaning up, all that good stuff. So hi everybody, I see you guys coming in. Hi Norma, how are you? I love that name Norma. That was my um, my grandmother's name actually. Her name was Norma, I love that. Hi, um, is it I Aisha or Asia? Um, hi, Vanessa. You are a growing family child care provider. Hi, Deidre. Okay, y'all. I'm ready to jump in. But before I do that, let me go ahead and share this out with my group really quickly. Y'all know I've got to do that. And I put some little um, cute little uh, sucker emojis down there because I thought it's just, I don't know, it's cute, right? So I put that. I was wondering if that looked okay. And it does. Once again, as you're coming in, you guys say hello to me. Be sure you do all that stuff because you want to train Facebook's algorithm to show uh, to show my stuff to you and. 
to train Facebook's algorithm, you have to like, comment, you got to do something with the video, okay? That lets Facebook know, please, please show me more of Ashley Benz's stuff, okay? So, hi, Whitney. Um, Cincinnati, Whitney says she's from Cincinnati, Ohio. She's a home child care provider, and she's been in business for about a year um, and a half. So, still learning. Yes. Well, congratulations, Whitney. I'm so glad that you're joining today. Um, okay. Oh, and I forgot to mention too, y'all get some, get you something to write some notes with while I'm uh, getting over here. So you guys go ahead, talk some amongst yourselves. <laughs> Let me get this shared out with my group. Um, looks like I was having a little bit of connection issues. Just saw it kind of spinning there. So let me go ahead and get this shared out. And we're going to jump right in and we're going to be talking about um, the do's and don'ts of social media as a child care business owner. Uh, so this is going to be kind of interesting, y'all. Just get ready. <laughs> That's all I can tell you. <laughs> just get ready. Because um, you guys know that when I come on here, I am pretty blunt. I just kind of, you know, I'm pretty much a straight shooter. Um, I just kind of tell you how it is. But, you know, you guys know I do it out of love for sure. So, all right. Share in a group. Also, if you are not a part of my private Facebook group community, um, I'll be leaving the link down below. But I would love to have you over there. And there's over a thousand members in that group and uh, of owners who are getting started. It's a mix of people. So anyway, come on in there. Uh, another thing I'm redoing is that Facebook group as well. So a lot of stuff happening here in 2019 for child care success tools. Okay, let me make sure I've got it shared in a group. And I am going to, oh, let me put this because then, you know, people will think it's like a recording or something. So join me live here. Okay, post. We're good to go. All right, I see you guys coming in. Hi, Nisha. Um, who else is here joining? Vanessa. Yes, starting in Florida. Okay, y'all. All right, so it's going to be good. Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready? <laughs> I don't know if y'all ready for me today because I am going to be sharing some stuff about social media as a child care business owner. All right, so once again, for those of you just joining, uh, my name is Ashley Benz. I am a child care business work-life balance strategist. I am the founder and creator of Child Care Success Tools, which is the number one online platform for child care business automation. Uh, once again, who I help is I help child care business owners who are working 40 plus hours a week and you want to cut those hours in half. I help you do that by using child care business automation. What that allows you to do is that uh, child care business automation allows you to cut your hours in half, your work week hours in half. It also allows you to go from a director role to an owner role, okay? Also, if you are just getting started and you're in that phase and you're at square one, um, I help you get your child care business up and running. And we do all of those things. And then what I teach is I teach you how to do that without a business loan, okay? Nobody needs to be having a business loan starting any business at that fact, okay? So that is what I do. That is who I help. Now, what qualifies me to do this is that I actually owned, operated, ran, and directed. That is always a mouthful, but that's what I did. <laughs> um, I owned, operated, ran, and directed a child care business for 10 years. And so when I started my child care business journey, uh, I did not know anything about what I was doing. I started it out of passion and I overworked myself doing it, okay? I made a lot, a lot of mistakes and failures. And so basically CST was kind of birthed throughout um, all of that, all of my failures and successes and just all those things that I learned when I ran my child care business. And so, um, you know, I started out, like I said, like everybody else, passion. Oh, goodness, that's a lot. I mean, I could go talk about that all day long. Anyway, long story short, um, I overworked myself. It caused infertility issues. Um, so it took me and my husband six years to get pregnant. And I was working over, 50, usually for me, it was like 60 hours a week. Uh, so throughout my journey, I basically kind of discovered child care business automation. And um, then what I did, I employed that into my child care business that allowed me to cut my work in hours in half, which allowed me to go from a owner role, I mean, a director role to an owner role. And um, I mean, just everything changed for me. We had a baby who is now going to be four. Um, and it was just life changing. So what qualifies me to do this is I've actually done everything that you're trying to do. I've started, I have uh, worked the long hours, I've cut those long hours in half, and then I've also closed, I closed it down. So I've been through every little stage that you can go through with the childcare business. 
Um, all right, so let's go into the do's and don'ts, okay, of social media as a child care business owner. Now, today, y'all, my notes are over here on my laptop. Um, and um, so if you see me looking over here, that is, that's what's going on with me. Once again, if you're just joining, please, please, please come in and say hello. Let me know where you're coming in from. What stage of business are you in? Are you starting, growing, or scaling your child care business? Make sure you go grab me something to drink and make sure you get your notes, okay? So... All right, y'all. This video is sponsored by both of my academies, which are my signature programs that I teach. Um, uh, the our How to Get Started Academy and our Child Care Business Automation Academy. You guys, these academies are absolutely amazing. And I will tell you that we are actually revamping and revising everything that goes on inside those academies. You guys, 2019 is my year to redo everything, okay? So, um, like I said, a lot of things are happening behind the scenes of CST. But anyway... Those are my academies. This video is sponsored by those. So if you're trying to get started, the How to Get Started Academy is for you. And if you are trying to cut your working hours in half as a child care business owner, you're trying to go from 50 plus hours a week and you want to cut those things in half and you want to become more of an owner instead of a director, the Child Care Business Automation Academy is for you. Now, both academies right now are closed as I work with current members and work to um, basically do the revision of the programs, but I will tell you guys, they will be opening up early spring. I am shooting for April. That is what I'm shooting for. So hopefully here in a few weeks, um, I'm shooting for April. And uh, what you need to do if you're interested in any one of the academies, you just simply need to go ahead and get on the wait list. The wait list is open, so you can hop on the wait list. And that is gonna basically have you become one of my VIPs. And so whenever, as soon as I find out the date that we're gonna be opening up the academies, you're gonna be notified first before the general public, okay? So um, also, uh, one of the other perks of being on the VIP list is that you actually get like any type of enrollment specials or bonuses that happen for early birds and stuff like that. So hop on those lists, you guys. I'm gonna leave those down below after this video. I'm gonna leave the links down below for you to gain access to. Okay, um, I think I covered that. I always like to go over and do a, a testimony, a review, especially for those of you that are new to me. If you're just stumbling up on me, you're like, who is this girl, right? <laughs> so, uh, so I always like to do that. Uh, but uh, there is a review from Kara, who is one of my YouTube viewers. And she says, since discovering you two days ago, I have listened to so many of your videos. You have inspired and encouraged me. So, Kara, thank you so much for watching. Uh, welcome to the CST family here. And I just want you to know that I am here to support you in any way that I can. All right. Last thing before we jump in. I need to invite you to share, like, and love this video, you guys. Please share this off to your uh, your child care owner friends, directors, people that you know. Go ahead and give this video a share. I've done my sharing on my end to my group. And we're going to jump right in. All right, um, the do's and don'ts of social media as a child care business owner. So first of all, first of all, and I'm going to tell y'all, get your tea, honey, because we're going to be drinking a lot of it today. We're going to, I am going to be sipping my tea on some things, okay? <laughs> okay. All right. So first of all, why even use social media? Now, some of y'all may be saying that, Ashley, we don't have to go through all that. We know why. But there are some people that don't really understand why they should even be on social media. And I work with clients that don't understand that. And I've talked with clients that are people that don't understand that. So I'm going to cover that for just someone that might be here that might be like, you know what, Ashley, I don't even know why I should be on social media or what I should be using it for. So number one, social media, you guys, it is the new marketplace. Okay. It, it's where everybody is at. It's the new marketplace. So what it kind of reminds me of is like in the summertime um, here in Kentucky, I'm from Bowling Green, Kentucky is where, where I'm at, but we go to the farmer's market and we love, you know, grabbing fresh, uh, fresh fruits and vegetables and things like that. And it kind of reminds me of that. So back in the day, that's what the market was. If you ever heard of people saying they would go to the market, that's what it was. It was a it was a place where, you know, the farmers would come out or or maybe the lady that sewed, you know, different things and she would come out and everybody would come out, the vendors would come out and they would basically sell their goods and services. And so um, social media, you guys, is exactly that, but it's all virtual. So it's a new marketplace. So if you're not on it, then you're kind of not in the market, okay? Um, number two is that you can reach so many more families than passing out flyers and going to networking events, okay? 
it's just easier. Okay, so you guys that that follow me, you you um, kind of know my philosophy about marketing, but you know, doing the whole flyers things and having a business card and all those kind of things are great, but it is just so much easier. You can reach more people, you guys. And um, actually, my dad is a preacher, so I'm a preacher's daughter. And um, it's funny. So what you know, what what we do, and I remember as a little girl, but we would actually go around and knock on what we call door knocking. And so yes, we would be some of the people that would come to your door, and we would like to share um, the gospel with people, right? And so you know. I remember as a little girl that I just felt like it was just a waste of time even then because I was just like, it's hot out here, dad. You know, why are we doing this? Um, and so, you know, we would hit maybe like, I don't know, like a hundred houses and it would take us all day long, like from morning to noon, right? Like one o'clock in the, in the evening. Um, but, you know, once I actually helped him started advertising on Facebook, you know, we could hit like a thousand homes, over a thousand homes in hours. So it is just so much easier, you guys. And, um, you know, I don't know, that just popped in my head and I just wanted to share that as far as how easy it is. It's easier than the flyers and all that stuff. Okay. Um, it's where families go to shop, you guys. So your families that you are looking for, they are um, you know, they, they are usually going to be younger families. There are what, I don't know what 20, with the, the 25, uh, age bracket and up, or even in their twenties and early thirties, these people are on Facebook and they're on social media. Okay. So it's where the people that you want to come to your childcare business, it's where they're at. So if you're not there, how can they find you? Okay. How can they find you? All right. Um, Another amazing thing about social media is that it is absolutely free. It is free. You can get on here and talk about anything that you want to, and you do not have to pay to at least have a, um, a, a space in the market, okay? So it is absolutely free. So why would you not be doing that? Where flyers, you got to pay for. You got to get them ready. You got to uh, think of what you're going to put on them. And then you got to go over to Kinko's or whatever to get them printed off. And then you got to, you know, manually distribute those out, whether that's direct mailing or whatever. Um, uh, but social media, you guys, it's absolutely free. So for somebody trying to get started or if you're struggling with marketing, why would you not be doing it, you guys? It's kind of like a no-brainer, okay? All right, so... Why even use social media? Well, I just went over why you should be using it. All right. What's a good child care business? Okay, so let's go over the actual do's of social media, okay? And hi, Jennifer. Um, and as you guys have questions, please don't hesitate to leave them down below, and I will definitely answer those, um, you know, as I see them come in. So what a good child care business social media account will do are, I'm going to give you five things that they will do. So get your note, your notes out and write this down. Now I've got to take me some, some sip of my little tea here. So while you guys are getting your notes out, just a second. Uh, okay. I needed that little bit of a calm down Ashley moment just for a second. <laughs> you guys know I have so much energy because I love talking about this stuff. All right. Number one. What a good child care business social media account will do is it will do have value to moms and dads. So it's going to bring value to moms and dads to parents. Now, what is value? Okay, Ashley, what is value? Well, value is things that is going to help a mom or dad. Value is its content that is... Um, it's useful content, okay? It's purposeful content. So just like what I do right now. Right now, you guys, I am adding value to you, right? I am giving, and value is always uh, free. So you're not charging for the information that you're giving out to these families, uh, these, these parents that are coming to your social media accounts, okay? Um, so I am adding value to you in this very moment. When we're talking about an, a child care business account, what value are you adding to a parent? What about that mom who is really afraid about even putting her child in a child care program, okay? What value can you add to her? Well, you could be posting things on there about how to deal with separation anxiety for a child, right? You could be posting things about, you know, what to do if you have never put your child in a daycare, 
okay? That would be value to that mom who is suffering or, or the mom who has a child uh, that suffers from separation anxiety who is afraid they have they need to put their child in daycare, but they are afraid to do that, okay? So that is, that is example of value. Now, another do is do be consistent. You can't have a social media account. You cannot have a Facebook business account or an Instagram or whatever else and just kind of be on there sometimes, okay? You can't do that. You have to be consistent, okay? There's a lot of reasons why you have to be consistent, but one of the other, re well, one of the main reasons is that you are dealing with an algorithm. And so if you're not on there posting consistently, the algorithm does not know. It, 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 it has a hard time like uh, boosting your things out, okay? And algorithms are changing so, so much, you guys. So, um, so if you're not consistent, nobody's going to see your stuff. Now, I've had people to ask me, well, Ashley, I post and nobody sees it, right? Well, yes, that can be true. But here is what you have to do so that you can train that algorithm to show your stuff is to be consistent. If you're not consistent, the algorithm doesn't know. It's kind of, it doesn't know. It doesn't know what you're trying to do. It doesn't know. Okay, do you want people to see your stuff or do you not? Right? You you posted. Uh, the last time you posted was January the whatever. Okay. Or 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 if I'm a mom and I come to your social media account and the last thing I see on your social media account was a happy new year. That, no, that is not consistent enough because it, we're already into February, so you should have already had something up, but you know, by at, at this stage, okay. Um, do use videos, okay. Do use videos, you guys, okay. Um, video is huge, and if you want people to see your stuff, actually, what Facebook does is that it will push a video out to your audience quicker than it will just a regular post, like a picture or something that you just type up, okay? Video is huge and you have to use it um, if you are going to have a social media account, if you're trying to attract the right kind of families to your uh, to your child care program, you, you have to use video. I, I just can't stress that enough, you guys. Um, even like for me, so before I actually started getting on here and doing these weekly videos, my Facebook account, my little Facebook uh, business page here at Child Care Successfuls wasn't as active. But once I started doing videos, you guys, I mean, like the activity level went up. And actually right now, you know, I'm doing this video, which means my activity level is up. But even if I was to go right behind this video and post um, a picture or even just a little quote or something like that, it would be lower, okay? The reach is going to be lower than this video here. So video is huge and you have to use it. Um, now, somebody might be asking, well, Ashley, what do I, what type of videos? Well, and I think I'm going to get in that here in a minute. So let me, let me not jump ahead of myself. Do have parents reviewing your program. Okay. Do have that on there. Now, let me just say this, you guys. Um, I was working with a client last week. And uh, one of the things we're working on is her Facebook business page. And so she did not even realize that she had uh, parent testimonies on there. And they were, you know, luckily they were all good. But you need to make sure that you have parents coming to your Facebook business. And I'm going to really say Facebook business page right now because if you're not, if you don't have a Facebook account, everybody wants to know what which social media platform should I put on Facebook and Instagram. That's it. Twitter, I don't really, I don't do Twitter, um, but I don't think that that's, I don't just, well, let me just put it like this. Not a lot of moms are on Twitter and things like that, moms and dads. Usually they have a Facebook and Instagram account and that's kind of where you want to be at. Um, if you want to know if other social media accounts will work, uh, my advice is to test those things out, see what kind of engagement you're getting, if you're going to get any business from those accounts, and then if you are, great. Um, if not, throw them away. Uh, but Facebook and Instagram would definitely be the two main accounts I'm going to tell you to be on. Uh, but what you want to have on these accounts is you want to have testimonies, okay? You want to have families that say, this is a great place to come bring your child, okay? And you have to monitor those uh, reviews because if somebody comes on there and leaves you a one star or a two star with a bad review, uh, you can't remove that. You cannot, there's nothing you can do about that. So if that happens, you do need to reply back to that person to be professional, but you want parents to be leaving these reviews for you, okay? All right, do show up as a, child, as a daycare owner um, yourself. So this is something I do not see, 
And I'm telling you, if you want to attract families to come to your program, you have to show up on there. They need to see your face and they need to know who you are, okay? Why? Well, because they're bringing their child to who? You. They're bringing your child to who? Your staff. So if, if you're not on there and they don't know who your staff are, then why would they even be interested in going any further and giving you a phone call or coming by and touring your facility, right? So you're going to have to be on there too. So now I know, I know, I know what somebody is saying. Oh, Ashley, I can't do video. Uh, I just don't know what to do on there. I'm not good going live. I'm, that's just not my thing. Let me tell you something, sweetie. Okay, this is coming from love. You're in business. It's going to have to be your thing. You're going to have to get be used to getting up and being in front of people. That's just it. If you want to be successful, you have to be able, you got to be able to do that. Okay. So my suggestion to you is that if you struggle with that, go take some public speaking classes. Um, there's all types of trainings you can get in just on learning. Like go to YouTube, search on how to go live. Okay. Um, I teach that inside of my academies as far as like, how do you, how do you go live and things like that. But you're in business, you're a business owner. You got you you can't you cannot you can't stay behind the camera and behind your desk. Okay? People they're gonna have to see you. Now, why is this? Well, because you are trying to grow what's called a like, know, and trust factor. Okay. So, prime example, um, you know, when I get on here, I've had people tell me that they feel like they know me. And I have not met y'all in my life, okay? I hope to do that someday soon. But a lot of y'all, and there may be some people on here I will never meet. But but you feel like you know me, right? And you do, because I'm on here, I show up, um, I'm myself when I get on here. And, you know, truth be told, naturally, I am an introvert. So naturally, I don't like to be the spotlight. I don't like to be somebody that everybody is looking at. But, you know, as a business owner, I've had to even tell myself that. And it's just a growth period that I had to go through. Ashley, you're in business. That means you got to show up. This, once again, you guys, we're going to go back to this is the new marketplace. Now, let me just ask you this question. Okay, I'm, I'm going to bring this, bring it. Okay, I'm going to bring it to you. So get your notes on this one. Get your notes, get your pen, get yourself together. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Now, what would it look like that... Let's go back to the farmer's market kind of thing. Now, what would it look like that you are a vendor? Let's say that you sell, I don't know, some apples, okay? You sell apples and the marketplace is the farmer's market. You go and you set up your booth or whatever you got and then you go back home. Now, first of all, like how are you gonna sell anything don't nobody know where your apples are coming from. They may have questions for you about your apples that you're selling. You know, uh, what what do you use on them? You know, how, all that kind of stuff. It doesn't make sense. So your Facebook business page and your Instagram, it's like that is your booth. That is your virtual uh, marketplace booth. And if you are not on it and they can't see your face, it's almost like you going up, setting up a booth, and you going back home, right? Okay. Hi, Kimberly. How are you? I'm so glad you're here joining Kimberly. Um, all right, so does that kind of make sense? Do y'all kind of see where I'm coming at uh, when it comes to the fact that you, as the owner and director, they need to see your face? Okay. Now I'm not saying you got to be on there all the time, but you know, if I scroll through your Facebook business page and I don't see you on there at least once a month, or like, or even if I click on videos. And I maybe see a lot of videos of the kids and stuff like that, but I don't see you or your staff or your teachers. Um, I mean, you know, it, for me as a mom, because I am a mom, I have a four-year-old. I'm going to be looking for a child care program that maybe has that on there. So if if I go to your page and I don't see that, but let's say I go to, uh, you know, XYZ child care program. And I see the owner and director, or the owner or, the, or whoever's the face of the child care business is, and I see them, and I can, you know, I can get their personality, I see their mannerisms, and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to be my, probably more leaning towards going and visiting uh, XYZ child care than yours. Okay, and that's not saying I'm not going to come in, but it's just saying that I'm going to be leaning towards that. Why? Because wow, I feel like I know this director and owner. Oh, she's so fun. Oh, look how well she works with the kids. Or look at the staff. Do you understand what I'm saying? 
Okay. Um, all right. So we went over the do's. Let me recap really quickly over the do's. Do have value to moms and dads. Do be consistent. Do use videos. Do have uh, parents reviewing and uh, parent testimonials on your social media accounts. And do show up as the owner and director. And I also want to say, when I say show up, you can even show stuff of your own family. You guys like this, you know, that watch my page and stuff like that, you'll see me on here with Nova sometimes, or, you know, uh, you'll see a picture of me, uh, uh, my husband, Victor, and me and Nova, and we're doing something like, so you have to share, people, listen guys, they don't know you. They don't know who your childcare business is. There has to be a face behind the page, okay? All right, um, hey, Ladrina, how are you? I am so glad that you're joining. Uh, Ladrina is one of my one-on-one -on -one clients, you guys, and um, I'm so glad that you're here, Ladrina, because I never see you on here, <laughs> but I know you're super busy. All right, so what a good child care business social media strategy won't do, okay? Here's what it will not do, and we're talking about strategy here because what you are actually doing, you guys, social media, when we are talking about having a Facebook business page or an Instagram account, Everything that you post post on there, it you are strategizing, okay? And what you're doing is you're attracting somebody, right? Now, who you want to be attracting is you want to be attracting moms like me, okay? You want to be attracting families like me. And the reason why I say that is because, number one, I'm going to pay you. I'm going to make sure you get paid. At, you, you will, you, my account um, will not be late, Okay, so I'm not going to be a late one of these parents that come in is going to be late. Okay, uh, my daughter's account, we have a separate account. Her uh, her uh, private school stuff goes in there and it just automatically comes out. So you want parents like me who are a going to pay you for one. Okay, B, who actually cares about their child's development, because if I care about if you have families that care about your child's development, then, you know, your um, your program is going to be a little bit different. The the energy with your families and stuff like that are going to be a little bit different than people that don't, okay? And I'm not, let me just say this, you guys. I don't want this to come off as if, you know, you don't want to serve everybody. But I'm just trying to tell you because I've been there. You are in business. And if you want a professional child care business and program that serves children and families, you want professional parents in there. You want people that are going to pay you. Guys, you can't run a business if you're not getting paid. Do not let me start on that, okay? <laughs> do not let me start on that. So you do want quality. If you want a quality, wait a minute, y'all. Let me, let, let me sit my tea before I even say it. I'm going to sit my tea before I even say what I'm getting ready to say. I'm, I'm going to sit. And then when I get finished saying what I'm getting ready to say, I want you to sit. You cannot have a quality program when you don't have quality families. Can I get a yes and an amen? Hello, people. Hello. Because quality fam families have money to pay. And when they have money to pay, that means that you have the funds to put back into your child care business so that you can bring in the quality. Okay. Up your quality, add the quality, whatever. Okay. Um, all right. I'm seeing some amens and some hallelujahs. <laughs> okay. Okay. Y'all were with me on here. Does that make sense? Yes. All right. So um, what a good child care business social media strategy will not do is it will not use your personal account to promote. Okay. Your personal account to promote your business. Now, let me just say this, you guys. I'm going to get somebody that's going to argue with me. And if you disagree with that, I would love to hear your thoughts. Okay. Um, I am an open-minded person, but let me just tell you right up front. Now, I see people that use their personal Facebook business, I mean their personal Facebook page, the one that they started back in whatever, that's got their aunts and uncles, that has the people they went to high school with, that has past co-workers before they start their daycare business with on their personal Facebook accounts. And let me just say this right up front, honey. They don't care about what you're doing. I have to say it. They don't care about what you're selling. They don't care that you're in business. They don't care about you being a child care business owner. They don't care about that. Okay. So please, 
don't use your personal account to promote your business, right? A personal account, whether you're on Instagram or Facebook, is exactly that. So prime example, you guys, you're not going to come to my personal account and you will not see anything about um, child care success tools on there. Unless somebody tags me in some kind of a post or something like that, okay? You won't see that. And a lot of people say, well, Ashley, why not? Why don't you share what you do? Because they don't want it. <laughs> they don't want it. My aunt, you know, although she loves me dearly and she's so proud of me, but she does not want to hear me promote my business. Because what it does is that it become, I become too salesy with people. And if that's all I'm talking about, oh, child care success tools this and look at me here and look at me there and all this and that, people get turned off from that. So I use my personal Facebook account for that, for personal. So what you, when you come to my account, you're going to see family stuff. You're going to see, um, you know, like we was remodeling the house, you're going to see stuff about that. That is my personal account. That account has been with me since I started Facebook. And so I've got people on there that I went to high school with. Honey, baby, the high, them high school people I went to, they don't care anything about me, okay? Let's just be honest about that. So don't use your personal account to promote your business. Now, I will say this because I've had people say, well, Ashley, now, you know, I'm on there and, and, and uh, my account is, um, uh, it's, it's got a lot of other like child care owners and stuff like that. Like it's a, almost like a networking thing, right? Um, and so I post on there because I'm sharing with my other child care friends and stuff like that. If that is who mostly is in on your account, then that, that is fine. However, how can a family find you, okay? How can a family find you on your personal account, right? Here's the deal, you guys. If you want to, if you want to have a business, you got to act like a business, right? You got to act like a business. So prime example, um, what would it look like? If the CEO of McDonald's, on their personal account, that's all they did. Buy the next hamburger, you guys. Uh, you know, um, uh, try the new uh, uh, Southern Sweet Tea. Like, that's all that they had on there, right? People are going to get tired of that, you guys. And we've all experienced that. We've all had people up in our inboxes trying to sell us stuff. Don't nobody want to be sold to in that way, okay? So here's what you're going to do. You're going to have a business account. That's why they have two different accounts. They got a personal and a business, okay? So if, if, if I'm trying to do business, then let's act like a business and let's have a business account. You're, you're going to be wasting your time with the personal account on it. And on top of that, the mom that's out there that really needs you, okay, the private pay client that really needs you can't even find you because she don't know you personally, right? Okay, I'm done with that. I'm done with that. Okay. Um... Never the second thing, don't mix your other business slash ventures with your Facebook business page or Instagram. I see this stuff all the time. So here, here's an example. Here's an example. This tax season. This is what I've seen on a Facebook business account that is um, a child care program. And I've seen it on Instagram too. And so you'll see this post that says, hey, you guys, if you need your taxes done, uh, you know, I have a tax business as well. Come over here and blah, 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 okay? Now, somebody might be saying, but Ashley, don't you think that's adding value? Because parents do need taxes done and da, 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 da. Yes, it is value added, okay? But for the parent that doesn't know you, because see, you guys have to remember now, you've got two different audience that you are, um, that you are uh, gearing towards on a social media account, you've got your current families and you got people that don't know you. And what you really should be gearing towards is really both of them. But you really want to make sure that your Facebook business account and your Instagram is really geared towards new families. Okay? Because if you, okay, what happens when all the people that you have there now leave? And you're not at, you're not trying to go after new families, right? So, um, you know, just, just don't, it's just tacky. It's just really tacky, and I've seen it. I've seen a lot of people do that, um, and it really, really is bad on Instagram because Instagram is a little bit different kind of platform. Uh, Instagram is actually owned by Facebook, but Instagram is really a different kind of platform. However, it is very, very tacky to be trying to sell uh, and mixing in your other businesses and ventures on your business accounts. I have seen childcare business owners who also do uh, what is this thing? It's uh, like a 
I can't even think of it, but it's like a, a vacation where they'll, uh, uh, you can uh, get a cruise for this amount. And they're, they're doing that on their business account. And it's like they're side hustling or whatever that is. Now, here's what I want to say. If you do have other business ventures and things like that that you feel like would be of value to your parents, then why not just send it to them in an email? Um, you know, so just uh, in an email or you can even, you know, make a little cute flyer and post it up. And as you talk to people, just say, hey, I want you to know, you know, that um, I do do taxes. So if you guys need that or my husband does it. You know, just kind of like amongst your little group, but putting that on your your main account, and especially for people that don't know you, for new mom, they're going to get confused. They're going to say, "Well, is this a childcare business, or is it a tax place, or do they do vacation and cruises? What what am I coming to?" Right? Um, yes, honey, travel agent. Thank you, Miss Kimberly. Um. Okay. Okay. So let's just be careful about all that because what's going to happen is that you're going to look like. <laughs> You're going to look like that guy on the street that opens up his coat and he's got all kind of watches and or not even that. But you know what I'm saying? Like he does all kind of stuff. And it's just like, you know, and then let me mm, let me say this too. This just came to me. But let me just say this too. OK, now here's what some parents may be thinking, which is another why, reason why you don't want to be doing all that stuff. Well, they may be saying, well, wow. I mean, she does. She's a travel agent. She runs a daycare business. She does taxes. Um. Uh, she sells, uh, she's got an Etsy shop. Well, how does she have time to make sure that my child is going to be taken care of? Do you see where I'm going with that? And y'all y'all know, y'all that are already in daycare, y'all know how people be thinking. Y'all know how parents like that think. That's what they're going to be thinking. How does she have time to make sure my child is going to be taken care of? Who's managing the place? Who's in charge? Because I see her got all these other little things going on, and I don't know how she's doing all that. But right now, I am coming to you for child care, not anything else. Right? Okay. Um, <laughs> Kimberly said Lenny. Who's Lenny, Kimberly? Is that the guy that puts his coat pocket out with all the um, with all the uh, clocks and or the watches and stuff? Is that Lenny? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Um, number three, don't flash now enrolling and almost in every post. So like if I come to your Facebook business page or your Instagram and all I see on there is now enrolling. Now enrolling. Now, okay, hang on, y'all. I'm sorry. I had a, it's saying that my internal memory is, sl is slow. So I'm going to have to hurry and get it off here on my phone. So anyway, but now enrolling, now enrolling, now enrolling. And that's all that you see, you guys. Um, Once again, it's a little bit turned off because it's too salesy. And it kind of looks like you're desperate because it looks like that you don't have any kids. And even if you don't have any kids, you don't have to put now enrolling on there all the time. Okay. What you want to put is what, as a parent, I'm asking what can I, yeah, I'm back on you guys. Um, I think it, wait a minute. I think it said, well, my, my phone is slow or something like that. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. Um, at least I hope I'm good. Are y'all still with me? Cause it says I've got a few of y'all here, but can somebody give me a thumbs up hearts love or yes, Ashley, I'm still here. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. So anyway, but, um, let me go back to my notes. So, you know, you don't want to look desperate. It, number one, when you have, when that's all that they see when they come on there, it looks too salesy and looks like you're desperate, okay? Y'all, listen, it is really about perception. Okay, thank you. Um, thank you, Nisha. It's really about perception. So, uh, yes, good job, Kimberly. Kimberly says she uh, has never used now enrolling and she is full. Awesome. Uh, but yeah, you know, I think this is for those that kind of get started and you guys are new when you're trying to get started. So obviously you're learning here and that's my job is to teach you these things. Um, and I hope that, I hope that you guys have fun with me when I'm on here because, uh, sometimes I feel like I probably, y'all probably like, well, she's crazy. But anyway, that's just me. <laughs> I'm going to tell you how it is. I don't need, I don't know any other way to say things. Uh, but, uh, you know, just, you don't want to be too salesy. And you don't want it to be that there's no value, okay? So although you're enrolling, but if there's nothing else for me to see, if I don't see kids that are interacted with uh, amazing staff, I don't see these amazing, you know, uh, activities that you're doing. Um, <clears throat> I don't see other parents talking about how great it is to bring your child to this program. I don't see those things, but all I see is now enrolling. I don't know why I should enroll with you, okay? All right, number four, don't have non-purposeful content. This is another thing. 
Don't have non-purposeful content, you guys. Now, non-purposeful content means it does not serve a purpose, meaning that there's no strategy behind it. Uh, it's kind of like you see it, it's like, what, what was that about? Okay, so I'm gonna give you an example. Instagram is a really good one on this one. So um, there, uh, I saw a, an owner, okay, and she literally just turned on her phone and then she um, went live on Instagram and she was cooking, uh, she was fixing lunch for the kids. And I think it was a, like a home daycare or something like that. It was a private child care program. And um, she turned it on. She didn't say anything to the camera. And she just kind of went back to doing what she normally does. Now, it was cute. Okay. It was cute. But it was kind of like there was no purpose there. Because I'm just sitting here watching. And she's talking to the kids. And um, she's saying, you know, oh, okay, little Johnny. Oh, do you want this? And I get what she was trying to do, but it was just kind of no purpose. So here's the deal. When you turn a camera on, honey, there's somebody back there watching. You got to talk to them. You can't just let them sit there. Now, it's cute. It's cute to see kids sitting there and they're getting ready for lunch. But let me ask this question. Okay. And her back was turned, by the way. See, that's what, I, that's what I'm saying. Like, when you don't have purpose, somebody like me is going to come and I, I see things, right? Um, her back was kind of turned to the kids. And I'm thinking, well, what if something happens? She's live. So what if something happens and when those kids get hurt or do you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, and it, it, it wouldn't be anything with her fault, but I'm just saying like, what if something happened? Okay. Here's the thing. When you go live, let's make it something that's structured. Okay. So it, let me just say this. If you was trying to showcase, and I think that's what she was trying to do. She was trying to showcase a healthy meal for children. Now, if you want to do that, you want to do that in a, in a live video, then turn it into like a cooking show. Say, you know, hi, you guys. My name is Ashley Benz. I am the owner of, uh, uh, you know, right now we are doing lunch. And today I am serving the kids broccoli and yada, yada, yada. This is how I make my chicken or what, like turn it into something. Because when you have a camera on, honey, you have to entertain people or people, number one, they won't watch. Okay. It's not structured and you can't just be, like you can't just turn on the camera and then just come back and not really like engage with the people on the other side. Okay. So, um, you know, make sure that the content that you share is purposeful, that it's not one of those things that, you know, people are seeing like, what was the purpose of that? Okay. All right. Number five, don't, and this is the last one Then we're going to be wrapping up. Don't have pictures of you. Oh, I got to get this Please, I got, I'm, I'm going to sip the tea before I even say it. So if you're with me, if you got something to drink, go ahead and take your little sip, okay? Mm. Please, you guys. Now, I'm probably going to be talking to my, my you know, 20-somethings, you know, uh, that kind of age bracket. So y'all just bear with me here, okay? And this is coming out of love. This is Mama Ashley wrapping her arms around you, honey, and telling you, please don't do this, okay? <laughs> Don't have pictures of you dressed in a non-classy manner. Now, you would think, Ashley, why would you even have to say that? But I am going to tell you, I have seen child care business owners, okay? Child care business owners on their social media accounts, okay? And dress, got a nice outfit on, don't get me wrong. But they got their boobs popped out. Like, Really? Okay, so first thing, first thing, first thing. I have a daughter, and if I'm interested in bringing my daughter to your program, and I see you in an outfit, and you've got your boobs popped out, honey, I'm not bringing my daughter to you. Because that's not the type of example that I'm trying to set for my child. And as a little girl, I have a daughter that I'm trying to raise, and I'm trying to raise her to be um, very classy. And so my thoughts is that, okay, then don't get me wrong. You might be a very, very nice person, okay? And you might mean well, but let's be professional. And I mean, like, you just, you just can't do that. I don't know. I don't know any other way to say it, but you just can't do that, okay? Um, you know, because I'm thinking as a mom, well, is that how you dress when you working with the kids? 
I mean, like, if you're, so you mean tell me that you're trying to teach my my daughter ABCs, one, two, threes, and she's going to look up to you. She's going to look up to how you dress, and she may want to be a teacher one day or whatever, and you're teaching my child how to write her name, and you're bent over, and your boobs are popping out in front of my daughter. I'm not, that is a no, 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 end of period, just no, okay? Now, let me say this. Because what I, what I'm what I see with this is that I, this is like the person that's trying to be the the everything, okay? And so you have to remember who are you trying to attract, okay? Who are you trying to attract, right? Now now a professional family that's going to pay you and be on time with that is not looking for a childcare business owner who's got their boobs popped out of their shirt. I'm sorry, y'all. Yeah, somebody's probably on here. You're probably mad at me right now, honey. I'm sorry. My job is to get up here. This is a big platform that I have, you guys. And when, when I'm on this platform, this is not my platform. This is God's platform. I have to be a steward over it. He has told me to share this with somebody. So if you're upset about this, I don't mean to offend anybody, but it's just, I'm just doing my job, okay? Um. <laughs> Exactly, Miss Kimberly says. Run, she said. Who wants their baby daddy picking up from Miss Boom Boom Lady? <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly. And it's like, who are you trying to attract, right? So anyway, y'all. Nisha says you are supposed to be honest with us to help make everyone better. Thank you, Nisha. And you know, it, it is. I try to make this kind of comical at the same time, you know, because I mean, I don't want to offend anybody, but I've seen it. And because I see it, I have to say, I have to, I have to call it out. Okay. Um, all right. Tough love. Uh, Nisha says tough love is always needed to elevate. Yes. Yes. And like I said, you guys, you know, I mean, Hey, that's why another prime reason. That is another reason why you do not want to mix your personal and your business. Because maybe you'd like, maybe that's, you know, maybe you've got some outfits that are a little bit risque when it comes to, um, uh, being a, an actual uh, child care business owner that you may wear on the weekends or whatever you do. And so that is okay to share on your personal, uh, your personal account, but for business and when you only got one and you're trying to mix it, do you see, do you see where I'm going with, with that? Right. And let me just say this to you guys. When you are in the public eye, because you are as a child care business owner, you are in the public eye. There is, um, and I think you guys, I think that Michelle Obama kind of talks about this in her um, book, Becoming. And I, if you all have not seen the interview that she did, that Oprah did with her, you've got to watch it. I'm sure y'all have seen it, but if you haven't, um, it's on YouTube, go find it. But she kind of talks about that with like how she had to um, change a little bit about not who she was, but kind of how she interacted with people being the first lady. And I love Michelle Obama. I think she is one of the, like, just, she is somebody that if you want to be, um, as far as your dress and how you dress as being a child care business owner, I love how she dresses, okay? So really kind of look at her. Now, will, Mich will, will we see Michelle Obama with her boobs popped out? You know, I don't even know if there was any time I ever saw, and I'm saying like in that kind of way. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, so anyway, that would be a really good example of like how you, we want to be dressing and things like that. But once again, that's why you don't want to have your, uh, business. That's why you want to have separate accounts. Okay. So that you can be yourself on your personal thing and then you can, you know, and it's not to say that you're not being real, but obviously there is a time and place for everything. So there's a, there's a, so if I go to a baseball game, then I, you know, I'm not going to go to a baseball game, you know, wearing, uh, uh, some heels. I'm going to go and a baseball cap and some tennis shoes, I'm going to go comfortable. Uh, but, you know, when I'm doing business and I need to, you pretty much, y'all know what I'm saying, y'all. Y'all know exactly what I'm saying. So anyway, I'm going to stop it there. Okay. Woo. All right, y'all. Here's another tip I want to leave with you guys before we chop off. Watch your lighting, okay, with pictures and videos. So that's another thing with social media. Um, you do want to have really great lighting when you are uh, taking pictures of the kids or you are doing a, a video shot of something that's like an activity. Make sure your lighting is decent and just, you know, just have, like right now I'm in front of a window. So just be in front of a window or 
uh, put your flasher on if it needs it or cut on the overhead, whatever. But lighting is really, really big, okay? Because uh, for parents that are new to you or they're, they're interested in your child care program, um, it can just kind of be a turn off when they see pictures that have like dark, you know what I'm saying, lighting and things like that. So that's just a little bit of a tip. Um, all kids should be smiling. You know, obviously you never want to take a picture of children that are not smiling or not happy because it is perception. And we do have to, you know, you, you have to make sure that you are showing the best of your child care program. Okay. Um, other tips I want to leave with you guys, you are creating a brand and a brand is a message, right? Um, it creates perception and feeling. So a brand creates perception and feeling and about who you are. Okay who your child care business is, okay? So you are creating a brand. And social media, using social media allows you to per, to to make sure that your brand is perceived in the right way. Um, you are trying to get your community to like, know, and trust you. And that is also a brand, okay? Because they learn about your message, your philosophy and teaching. Um, they learn about your philosophy and whatever, okay, that you do, whatever you specialize in as a child care business owner. And so we just want to make sure that as you are creating this brand, um, that you're being perceived in the way that you would like to be perceived. This is a professional child care program, okay? All right. Um, so the last thing I want to leave you, and I want you to write this down, ask yourself a question. If your social media accounts was a person, what kind of things would you see when uh, when you visit its page, right? And so that's what you think about when you think about branding because it's what you're doing. Social When you're on social media, you're branding yourself and you're branding your business. But think about it as a person. So what kind of person, what things would you actually want, like what would it look like, okay? If you thought about it, separate yourself and this is a person. So I'm thinking, uh, you know, um, well, um, when I come to this child care businesses page, it's it looks happy. Um, the teachers and staff look awesome. They're having fun. Like they look like they love what they do. The owner is just so likable. Like how would you not want to bring your child to her? Um, because I see her on these. Uh, you know, the owner or director, whoever the face is of the child care program. The kids have amazing fun. Look at that amazing science activity post. Look at that awesome Valentine's party that they did. Look at the parents sign outs that they offer. And so that is kind of like what you want them to see when they come. Think about, again, if your child care business was a person, a human being, and that was their Facebook account or their social media account, what would you see when you come on there to show that it is somebody, is a brand, it is a child care business that I would love to have my child come to if you kind of think of it that way, you'll start thinking of, of different kinds of things to start posting and really how to make sure that you're doing it in a in a stra in a way that's successful and that you're using strategy, okay? All right, so remember, you guys, you flourish where you focus. So I want you guys to be focused on your social media accounts. If there's things you need to change, go ahead and start making those changes with that. Um, and um, that is what I have for today. So as always, I always like to end my videos with our virtual goodie bag. So for those of you that are new, um, our virtual virtual goodie bag is basically links down below. But I always like to call it my virtual goodie bag because it's almost like me saying for joining me today um, and being here. Thank you so much. Here's some more information. If this resonated with you, if you want to know more information about uh, child care success tools, how to work with me, uh, what programs I offer, all that good stuff, I always leave things down below. Um, so what I'm going to be leaving down below, you guys, is join my private Facebook group community. If you're not a part of that, um, be sure to get on the wait list of one of the academies, uh, either the How to Get Started Academy or the Child Care Business Automation Academy. The links will be down below. Uh, also, download, okay? So for those of you that are trying to automate or you're, you don't know what that is, I do have a free download down below that I will leave. It will link you off to a free checklist guide that will kind of help you walk through your child care business and see what's automated and what's not. And then also, if you're trying to get started, I have my nine-page How to Get Started Roadmap Tour Guide that, uh, that's going to actually kind of walk you through that process. So, all right, you guys, I get here every Wednesday, or you can find me here every Wednesday between 11 a.m. and 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. If you're watching this from YouTube, um, I do want to 
uh, remind you to be sure to like this video, be sure you subscribe, and be sure to hit that little bell so you'll be notified of whenever I post up my weekly videos um, here on my YouTube channel. If you're watching this from Facebook, thank you so much for joining me live. Um, what else? I feel like there's something else I need to say, but I don't think that there is. Did I cover everything? I think I did. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. I want you to go off. I want you to be successful. I want you to use strategy with your child care business. And I want you to do this thing with your head held high to say you are going to be successful. You are going to do this and you're going to be successful at what you do. Okay? And there's nothing that's going to stop you from doing that. I want you to pray and I want you to, uh, this is a prayer that I always like to pray. Okay, Lord, open up whatever doors need to be opened up for me. Please open them up and let it be that no man can close them. And if there's anything crooked about my business, please, Lord, make it straight. Okay, so I am sending that prayer off to you. And, um, and I will see you guys next week here Wednesday between 11 a.m. Central Standard Time and 12 p.m. All right, you guys, have a great rest of your day. And I will see you in the next video. Hang on, comments. You know, I got to read comments before I get off. Thank you so much. Thank you, Vanessa. Thank you, Kimberly. All right, you guys. I'll see you next week.